the I dress me here and today we are I'm as I said trying to finish it I didn't uh, something happened outside I had to board up some windows they were coming in I fought them off for a bit Whew. it is 9 41 uh, sunset has been down for about 42 minutes well, no 30 30 I don't know I, I I can't do math 39 minutes something like that 30 40 minutes 30 minutes wait 41 somewhere around there 39 minutes maybe it's uh they're pretty active today but that's okay deep breath we got this <sighs> only a few hours till sunrise that's okay. No shields? Then I don't need one since I can alter time itself. Where are you hiding, Blaskovitz? It's time to die. If uh, this is a short video, I probably will just edit it and do the other one, to be honest, guys. 
But, uh, let's get this gun out. It's gross as an egg. So let's climb up. Guys, you back again. Hey Hans, calm down. This ends now. Oh wow, it's annihilated me. What is this boss battle? Like this boss battle is just brutal. machine gun seems right
Get out of here. Everyone else is like, I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna be okay. Yeah, take the jetpack, boy. Oh, it's not even a jetpack. <laughs> he just throws his gun at him. Throws him off. Peace out, bud. But that was my gun I upgraded. I like that gun. That's the gun that he was always carrying. My boy, BJ. Into the castle, too. So, castle. What a lucky aim. Uh, wouldn't your, like, superiors want to see this thing? The, that, like, saved your life multiple times? Director, the mission was accomplished. General Zeta is dead and his research has been destroyed. Is he the Thule portal and the Doomsday weapon were smashed along with the Zeppelin, so all access to the Black Sun has been permanently cut off. Unfortunately, the medallion is a burnt hunk of metal and glass, ruined when the portal was shattered. Eisenstadt has been liberated, the Nazis have withdrawn, and the Kreisau Circle has taken control. It's too bad the Golden Dawn vanished. They would have made good allies, despite Dr. Alexandrov. As to Death's Head, I'd like to think he died in the crash. But somehow I get the feeling we haven't seen the last of him. Yeah, BJ Blazkowicz. still alive. It's kind of a shame that they couldn't uh, continue on with this story, but that's all right. What's next? E 13 kills, boy. It's software. Way to go. Raven software too. Like you did well. You guys did well. This was a fun game. Enjoyed the game. It's a shame that Call of Duty killed Raven Software in my mind, but what can you do? Uh, so let's just Google some cool facts about Wolfenstein. Probably reiterate why well, was so Raven Software Wolfenstein has been pulled from sales in Germany after Activision realized Nazi like the Nazi propaganda that was in it was still present in German versions so like swastikas are forbidden there and, and it's appearing in the game so, okay so that's one of the reasons <laughs> Can I escape Wolfenstein? Yes. Just press escape. Good on ya. Is it a prequel? Wolfenstein, aka Wolfenstein 2, Wolf 2, is 2009's direct sequel to Return to Castle Wolfenstein and Spear of Destiny Wolfenstein RPG. The game has been described as a long awaited game and sequel due to the fact it was developed for eight long years. Eight years, almost, almost a decade, boys. Is it a reboot? Uh, is Wolfenstein a reboot? Wolfenstein: uh, New Order is both a loose continuation, as it takes place after all previous inst installments, and, and a reboot of the series. As a feature, is new simulate. Okay, well, we didn't need to know that. I'm asking 2009, you telling me about new game? Uh, 2009's Wolfenstein Canon. Uh, 
is a strangest one, however, the game is canon, being directly referenced in Wolfenstein New Order, where the, a character from the game uh, and a pre its predecessor returned to Wolfenstein is the main villain. So Death had returned in all of them, so yeah. It's cool. It's cool. Is Wolfenstein a prequel to Doom? A Wolfenstein RPG is set in an alternate timeline, which is mostly light-hearted and humorous, and serves as a prequel to Doom series. At the end, BJ defeats the main... The Mams? The... Harbinger? Of Doom? A Nazi summoned demon that is none other than the later cyber demon from Doom. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, who is Jay and Wolfenstein? Uh, I don't need to know that. Um. Let's hit up the Wikipedia and see what it says. Let's read the Wikipedia and then it's probably end up doing it. Wolfenstein is a first person shooter video game developed by Raven Software, published by Activision. Part of the Wolfenstein video game series, it serves as a loose sequel to 2001 Return to Wolfenstein and uses an enhanced version of its software ID Tech 4. The game was released in August 2009 for Microsoft, Windows, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. Good on ya. Wolfenstein received lukewarm positive reception. So like, it was good, but I feel like uh, at the time, Call of Duty and such were in the way, as I said about at the beginning of when I started this game. Around that time, everyone just wanted a multiplayer. And every single developer, I felt like, was just trying to, like, get on that, like, how do we defeat a multiplayer game that everyone's jumping onto? And I feel like they don't need to, because I ain't going back to Call of Duty, but I went, came back to Wolfenstein and played it. Like, this is my, like, oh maybe six or seventh game like run through this game it's about nine hours long for each each time and that and i did it and it was enjoyable every single time so like just focus on a single player game for me buds it'd be nice but yeah as i said positive reception but it's sold poorly only selling at a hundred thousand copies within the first month a hundred thousand copies but we think about it at that time not everyone was gaming not everyone was like into that so like that's not bad per se but it's bad in the books so that's what sucks and it would be the final ID software oversaw as an independent uh, developer uh, I, after this what was it who was it it was uh, Zenimax media bought it and now it's hiding this game because they don't want to really reference this game but this like as much as I like the other Wolfenstein that came out this I think is weird but it worked like it worked with that open world you know, there's a lot of gameplay that you can go around just, like, killing Nazi zombie, Nazi guys, and of course they added the zombie boys, and the robot mans, and Dead Zed, you know, head, what's his name? Oh my god. It's Dead's head? I don't know. Whatever that boy's name is. Plot and setting. The story is set in the fictional town of Islington during World War III, which the Nazis have enforced martial law in order to evacuate rare Nakstones crystals. 
necessary to access the Black Sun Dimension. As the game progresses, ha uh, progresses happenings in, in this town became stranger. Military patrols are replaced by supernatural creatures. Locations include the towns, sewers, taverns, of course sewers, hospitals, farm, an underground mining facility, church, SS headquarters, the dig site, caverns. Like these are all key points in these in, in like an old military World War Two game. Like it's key. A cannery, radio station, paranormal base, general home, castle, and airfield are large zeppelin. I actually really liked one of my favorites was the general's home because it was so it felt so intimate when you were playing it. Yeah, I ain't gonna tell you the story is too long. I think you can watch it. Wolfenstein uses improved ver vi version of ID software's id tech for a game engine. Technically, the behind Doom 3. So, so remember Doom 3 and enemy territory and Quake Wars? That's basically what they were using. The game was developed by Raven Software. Oh my god, like back in the day, Raven Software was like awesome. Like, Raven Software, that's all you have to know. Like, just go back to their catalog before they hit up Call of Duty. And you realize why Call of Duty gang took them in. Uh, came out, as you know, the for that system of the years. You have PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, PC. Modifications of the game's engines include depths of field, effects, software shattering, post-processing efforts, havoc physics, and well as an additional supernatural realm called the Veil. While the Veil, the player has access to certain special abilities, such as the power, slow down time, get obstacles exist on the earth, even the ability able to defeat enemies to have an otherwise impenetrable shield. Similar to Spirit Walk, previous in Intect Force Prey. It's true. That's another thing. Like they they took that in. Prey the original Prey? It had that spirit walk. It's true. Uh, yeah, it's pretty dope. What was the exception? 74, 71, 72 for PC, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360 for Metacritic. Not bad. The lowest rating I can see was a 6 from Eurogamer for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. But hey. What do they know? This game is phenomenal. If you can find this game, I'm telling you guys, just get it. You can if you, you can play it through a day if you're if you're like dedicated. It's a, nine hours. Just throw it on easy. You'll get through it. If you want to take your time and search through things, it's probably gonna take you I don't know what eleven, maybe twelve hours, but that's okay. The whole experience is fun. So I'd totally check that out if you would. Tim Miller for Blur Studios. It was enjoyable. I, I would highly recommend buying it, but you can. Scream at Bethesda. They have lots of money. Tell them to pay for it. Because it's Tell them that they can just release it and give it to like. Well, they want to. They want to fight Call of Duty, don't they? Not bad, not bad. It's enjoyable. I didn't find everything, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, that that's basically the Wikipedia site. There's a little bit more, but I ain't gonna read through the whole story. Wise, I just played it. BJ Blaskowitz. He was back at it again. Pretty enjoyable. Fun. Sequel to. Loose sequel to Return to Wolfenstein. Which. That was a dope game, too. 
and when you played it on the on the original Xbox, you did get the OG Wolfenstein game too, which that is fun too. But like, it's long actually. Like the levels in that game, I remember I ran through it on. The last time I did it was on the 360, and that game, whew, like you know, the arcade version of Wolfenstein, ran like took me a while but I did it I ran through it uh, on the hardest difficulty it was hard but it was fun I got the achievements I was like achievement boys but it, yeah so yeah 2009 Wolfenstein look at that it was enjoyable I hope you guys enjoyed it and I swear seek it out go and complain and ask for it Ooh, what's this I thought this old man survived that. <laughs> hey, congratulations! I've unlocked the cheat menu. Okay, uh, start a new campaign. You will be given the option to play with cheats enabled. In cheats enabled campaign, open in the game option, select your cheats. Cool. Uh, what's in the options of cheats? Doesn't show. Doesn't show, but hey, I beat the game and I got the cheats. Well, guys, that's been it. It's been a fun ride. That has been Wolfenstein from 2009. Enjoy yourself, just like I enjoyed mine. Take a deep breath. We're in it together. Don't worry. If you think you're going through something, so is somebody else. You're not alone. If you need to talk to somebody, go for it. Talk to somebody. If not, write it down. Believe me, it'll help. Take a deep breath and just enjoy yourself. And remember, you're worth it. Bye!